Hi guys, Ashlyn here from Dream DIY. Welcome back to my channel, where I'm going to be sharing with you some of my DIY projects, tips and tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect window box. But before we do that, please, if you could, hit the subscribe button below. The perfect window box, there are many ways of doing this, but my personal favorite is to use both seasonal plants and plants that last the whole year round. So what do I mean about using seasonal plants and plants that last the whole year? Well, basically, as you can see here, this is a window box that I did last year. It still needs a wee bit of work this year, but you can see that I have ivy and I also have a little fir tree. Now these stay green all year, which is really, really handy because all I need to do then is to swap out the little seasonal flowers to add a little bit of color. So you're not buying as many plants as you would if you had to fill the whole window box. I'm gonna set this aside now and take you through step by step just how to achieve the perfect window box. The first thing you need to do is get a window box. These come in all shapes, all sizes and all different colours. The most important thing you need to do when you get your window box is to check for drainage holes. Now this one, there already is a tiny little one, but I'm going to put a few more into it. A lot of window boxes actually don't have these. It's really vital that you do it because flowers don't like sitting in wet and soggy soil. So you need to get your drill and just put in some holes. The next thing that I like to do, now this is optional, is to line the window box with some crockery, some broken crockery. Okay, this also helps the drainage. Now you mightn't have any broken cups or crockery sitting about. I am really clumsy, I must break a cup at least once a week. So this is a, a way that I don't feel as bad about breaking the cups. Next we need to start thinking about soil. There's so many different types and varieties that sometimes it's really hard to work out what type of soil you need. Today I'm going to use an all plant compost because it has everything in it that my plants need to thrive. So I'm going to fill up the window box now with the soil. It's really good practice to add in some fertilizer into your soil. Now this fertilizer is slow releasing, which promotes healthy growth. You're gonna have rich green foliage and also bigger blooms. So you just mix that in with the soil. That's very important. Now for the fun bit, planting the flowers. This is the bit that I love the most. In today's current climate with the whole isolation, I have struggled to get some flowers, but I managed to pick up some that were in the bargain bucket and were slowly dying. But I know once I get it into this soil, they're gonna come back to life. Don't be afraid to pick up some flowers or plants that are in the bargain buckets. The little bit of deadheading and TLC, they will be as good as me. I'm gonna start with the ivy and I'm gonna put that at the front of the window box. So I have four little plants here off the ivy. And what I like to do is just space them out. And when they start to grow, they will start to trail over the window box. And again, these are going to be here for many, many years. So it is a really good investment. As you can see, the window box is starting to take shape. I absolutely love ivy. I just think it's so pretty and it lasts for so long. And that's the best thing about it. Now I'm going to put in the little trees. Now these little trees need a wee bit of love, but I am positive that they're going to come back. I like to put in something with a little bit of height because it just draws your eye up and just makes it a little bit more interesting. So again, I like to do it in grouping. So I think that's nice. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna swap that one out and put the taller one in the middle. The window box that I showed you earlier, this is how the ivy started and this is how the little trees started. So you will see just how big they will grow and just how full they will become. I'm now gonna add a plant that is a trailing plant. So this is going to trail down the sides. And again, I'm gonna put this just at the corners. It's nice to have something trailing. And also it fills it out. And I'm gonna put this one in the middle as well. So now you need to add the seasonal plants, the ones that you're gonna be swapping in and out through the different seasons. Oh, it's lovely. And again, just pop that in there. And it's a little smaller than that one, but it will grow. It's starting to look really pretty. And another little white one here. And I'm just gonna put that in, in there. Put some more soil in. And finally, to stop your window boxes drying out, make sure you water them regularly. That's my window box complete. Now all I have to do is go and find a lovely windowsill to put it on. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button below. And remember, if you can dream it, you can DIY it.